Uh, Darius is doing a nice job. He's competing uh, at corner, and ACL injuries take a long time. And it's fun to see and great to see him fast and healthy and confident in his knee. So I really, he's done a nice job in camp so far. He is, yep, he is. He is battling with AJ Anthony Johnson, our grad transfer from Louisville. Um, Elliot Brown and Hunter Stewart are uh, are currently in the in the lead at those spots. We have good young we have good young players as well, but uh, I'll just name Hunter and Elliot right now, kind of as the mergers. Is Elliot outside Hunter in? Or I know they're kind of interchangeable. Interchangeable, and yeah, the more uh, and if they can cross train, that gives us more depth. So we're training them both. Billy Kemp is in a boot, supposed to be back next week. Um, Artie Henry, wide receiver, a grad transfer from Marshall, is also in a boot, should be back next week. Ahern, um, knee was sore, uh, but nothing significant, be back next week. So nothing significant, which is great. The veterans that were sitting out today, uh, Noah, Joey, was this just a veteran rest day? Joey, foot or an ankle that just got out of a boot so and Noah's back was a little bit tight so it's really competitive he's passionate about football he showed up as most of our graduate transfers do with a different sense of urgency um, and so he's been on a mission so he's played really well he's making a lot of plays and he's a really confident and engaging personality he brings a lot to our team so I like him. The overall project of improving the past defense, how, mm. has, how has that looked? It, it's coming. Uh, it all starts with the people. And right now, we're healthy and fast and deep. And yeah, I think we'll be just fine as long as we stay healthy um, and keep our depth. Is that a lot of personnel driven? Are there any tweaks going on? So the grad transfers, both um, AJ and Josh Hayes, that makes a huge difference. And so we have depth and competition everywhere and that allows flexibility. Um, and we want the best four or five or six out there at any one time. And, and so the two grad transfers that we added is making a difference. It's great. Uh, he's, he has amazing testing numbers and another year of football uh, development in terms of game experience. And so he's, he's a really nice combination of size, speed, and experience. Um, doing a really nice job. Yeah, they're, our team is hungry and they're confident. Um, and they're working really hard, receptive to being coached. Uh, so I, I like where we are. So I have the option, really, to do it any time. Um, <laughs> normally, it's Sundays. Uh, so most likely not this Sunday, but next Sunday will be the first. With the key time, you we've talked about versatility so much, but in the athleticism, but what about his mind and his mindset with the ball makes him able to do something like that? Yeah, his knowledge of the game is outstanding. Then he's, he's kind of a water carrier, meaning he'll do anything for anyone. There's no ego. He just wants to help our team, and he's capable of helping in so many ways. And wow, is he likable, and he's got great leadership skills, and he just is, uh, you want to be, you want him to be on your team, and you want to follow, or you want to play with him. And so, a lot like AJ, they're, they're just dynamic personalities besides good football players. Yeah, it, it's awesome. Something new still every day. And um, he just keeps rising to the occasion, and we keep uncovering new things he can do. So it's really fun. Do you know what's coming, or do you see it We know something's coming. Uh, we're just not quite sure what. There's been some talk about the ACC and a scheduling partnership with some of the other conferences. In terms of the landscape of college football, does that seem like a logical step for a conference that wants to remain as its own? It's really hard to say. Um, 
I do anticipate um, another splitter division of some sort. Um, what those criteria will be um, will probably be, you know, funding and resources. Um, so hard, hard to say um, what that will look like. Um, but just to be clear, I, I want the best of everything, the highest level and world-class education and college football, and I want Virginia to be there. You also like to, to study and research and think about things, but it's a busy time of year for you. Do you just shut out that kind of topic this time of year? Do you still? No, I don't. I don't pay any attention now. Um, I'm asked on occasion, um, but no, it's it's not on my radar right now. Yeah, um, Malachi is big and he's fast and he's confident and man, great body control and really good hands. But not to be outdone, Jonas Sanker. Those two guys um, are really impressive. And so, man, so, so good for us to have two really local or local players that are playing so well. They'll both play in their first year. They're doing a nice job. Any other first years kind of stepping up? Noah Josie on the offensive line. Um, and I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody right now. Jay Wolfolk, at quarterback, is doing a really nice job. Like our first year class a lot. Um, we scrimmaged them yesterday evening and yeah, they like to play football and they're talented, so I'm impressed. How different is it when that coach QJ coaches the young lineman now that he's not under the gun of hey that kid probably has to play on Saturday? Is there a different oh, yeah. thing to bring him about? I, um in most cases um, playing someone early is that a necessity and that usually doesn't help their development. Um, at some point there's usually a stop and a step back before you re rebuild and it's much better for a program and a player if they can um, grow into a position rather than inherit or be asked to play a position they're not quite ready for and so he's more patient. With returning so many guys on offense now for a week of fall camp What's that chemistry kind of like, and how is that offense looking? Yeah, um, we're going to score a lot of points, and that's the number one driver of who wins college football. So I like that. we got about one more minute. On, on that note, Bronco, uh, Good shirt, by the way. Keaton uh, uh, obviously had a good spring game. What have you seen in the stand? How has expanded since that we, we were just talking, uh, man. The, the number of things he can do. Uh, I would say if there has to be an area where he's he's taken another step, it's the receiving. Getting open, body control, and just he, he doesn't drop any. He's really, his hands are really developed. Um, so yeah, that gives us just one other thing to kind of uh, uh, focus on for him. And it's a tough matchup. Um, tough on the linebackers, tough on the safeties just because of his size. Kicker and punter, um, right now, Justin Dunkel is our place kicker and our kickoff kicker. Uh, and then um, his name just slipped my mind. Our graduate transfer from, thank you, Finn. He just goes by Finn, it's like one name. Um, he currently is our punter as of today. Yeah, it's, man, <laughs> it's dead even uh, Wayne because of all the things he can do. Um, Mike Hollins, Ronnie Walker, Devin Darrington, Ahmad Faustin, it's a photo finish right now. So they're all, they're all really, they're doing a nice job. Everyone will play on special teams and it's hard to tell even when one of them is carrying the ball, it's hard to know which one it is. They're, they're all doing a good job. I like it.